that I think so is unaware of his microphone being used. So uh, primarily man has been a hunter and a flesh eater, right? We all know that first man was a gatherer, as in he gathered food. And then all the food, like fruits, vegetables, everything exa got exhausted, then he became a hunter. And then he hunted for animals, birds, fishes, right? And then he became a flesh eater, right? So some of the food products obtained from animals are milk, meat, eggs, honey, and many more, right? Rearing of animals on a large scale at home or on farm, taking care of their shelter, proper food, health, and breeding is called animal husbandry. Right, so this is known as animal husbandry, whereby you know you have a poultry or you have a uh, you know a cattle shed, a cow shed, you know you have a pig sty, you know whatever kind of animals you want to breed, you want to grow it for the purpose of earning money, so that you can sell its products. Like you can sell milk, you can sell uh, the flesh, you can sell the egg, you can sell the honey, apiculture. So depending on what you want to sell. Uh, that you know you become that 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 science that study is known as animal husbandry okay what is bacon naisha it's like strips of big fat as far as i know yeah kind of you know so it's been basically pig pig meat which has been pork basically which has been treated you know to salt and a little bit of uh, you know uh, dried and taken out the same you know that they've taken out the moisture and then it's been kind of stored yeah so basically you know these are also meat that's being processed right so basically you know they take a maybe you know the uh, large intestine or small intestine of uh, the animal is being taken it's been cleaned flushed done everything properly and then you know the meat is being you know uh, kind of treated uh, you know uh, treated as in you know it's pounded and it's been put inside this intestine and then it's been tied at both the ends right and then it's either sun dried or maybe frozen right and then sold so these are different you know kinds of meat being processed differently cured differently you know cheese is also milk treated differently or cured differently right processed basically differently just like cottage cheese, like paneer has been processed milk. Okay, so now we come to the question and answer session. Starting with uh, Varnika, pick up the first question. Yeah. Uh, which of the following animals are kept as pets? Um, teacher? Yes. All of them are kept as pets. With respect to crop. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With respect to crop production, what is good? Which which is a good good pet to have? Good pet to have, sorry. Come on. Rabbits? Why rabbits? Uh, I think it's a dog, actually, not a rabbit. Okay, why dog? Uh, I'm not too sure why. Okay, who can answer this? I'm a dog. You'll probably yes, like dog. scare away yeah. any. Uh, rodents or any other animals. Yes, come basically dog and also cat. Cat love to eat rats, no? So it will keep all the rodents away. So cats and dogs could be the best pet of a farmer would love to have. Question number two, Ronak. Okay, Naisha, take it up. Um, I think, uh, okay, uh, statement one, beehive is also called as a honeycomb. Uh, statement two, beehive stores honey. I think it's A. Statement correct. one is true and statement two is the correct explanation. So statement correct. one. Correct. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Kirtana, take up this. I think this will be A. Why A? Or no, it will be B. No, no. 
I think why B? B because uh, uh, storing grains in cellars is advantageous because there is uh, less moisture there and there is not much exposure to the rodents and animals there. And uh, grains are damaged by rodents and seeping in rainwater into cellars. So yeah, so which is the correct answer? Which is the correct option? I'm not sure, but I think it's B. B or D? First oh, of all, okay. yeah, first so of all, do you, it's, yeah, it's the answer. D, yeah, so what is a cellar basically? Cellar is basically, you know, a small room, right? One small room, it's basically a prison cell. We say, you know, prison cell. A prison cell is a cellar where one side is basically, you know, open, right? So it might not be fully open, but it's open one side and the room is like this big. Right, so it's very easy for the grains to be damaged by rod and seepage of rainwater into a cellar. So this is false, this is true. So the answer is D. Akshat, take this up. Ma? Yes, Ronak. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can I answer this question? Okay, answer. Yes, ma'am. Keeping crop green for a long, long time under proper conditions is called storage. Correct. Akshat, are you there? Akshat, are you there? Please take up question number six if you are around. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, statement, uh, question 6, statement 1, nitrogen pushed in, uh, into granaries. Statement 2, nitrogen blown into granaries to push nitrogen. Mom, statement 1 is false and statement 2 is uh, true, I guess. Why is it true and false? Uh, Imam, I didn't get you, sorry. No, what is the explanation? Why do you say, uh, the uh, which one is true, which one is false? Mom, statement true, uh, statement 2 is true because Nitrogen might be uh, used to push oxygen out because um, it uh, it uh, may be nitrogen and uh, might push oxygen out. So yeah, both the sentences are correct. But A. A, yes. So basically nitrogen is pushed into the granaries to blow out oxygen out. So both are correct. So the answer is A. Okay, Kavya, once more. Question number seven. I'm not able to mute myself. I'll mute it, don't worry. Did you just say multiple choices? Did you choose multiple answers? Sorry, Kavya couldn't hear you. But teacher, uh, is this uh, multiple choice? Yeah, yeah, could be multiple choice, yeah. Uh, so, A does sound right, B as well sounds right, mm -hmm. uh, C sounds right as, uh, no, I, I'm not sure about C, and D sounds right as well. So, all of them are right. And all are correct. Yeah, all of okay. them are right, yeah. It, it has to be dried well, it has to be stored in a dry place from moisture obviously right metallic bins or silos or mortar whichever can be used for storage as a granary and uh, it has to be stored in gunny bags before it's kept in the go down so all are right bins okay metallic bins why because uh, certain metals avoid moisture to get in 
So why? What about rodents? Uh, Kirtana, you can also use the uh, chat yeah, for your answers. We, I mean, mostly we can say moisture, but rodents is also a yeah. Answer. Rodents because rodents can't bite through metal, so that's one of the main reasons why you know they have made metal bins. Because these rodents, these rodents, you know, they are like really a nuisance. They're really a nuisance. You can't really keep them at bay. They try out each and every possible measure, right? So rodents and moisture both would be the answer. Primarily it is rodents. Okay.